to today's amazing class. We're gonna be chatting about one of my favorite topics, which are the feminine energy beauty rituals in order to awaken your sacred sensuality, also known as your vivacious delight as a woman. So make sure you listen until the end because I'm gonna give you a few bonus tips and examples and practices for this class as well. So vivacious delight is a term that I created and it's all about you embodying the energy of pleasure as a divine feminine woman. So vivaciousness is the energy of curiosity and wonder for life. It's about you having very welcoming and sweet type of invitation in your energy. It's very adventurous, it's very animated, it's very playful and sparkly, and just you learning how to appreciate the beauty of yourself and the beauty of the life that's around you. So your pleasure as a woman is like oxygen to this planet, and the kind of woman who's in that embodiment is very inspiring and nourishing to be around. These powerful exercises that I'm going to share with you today, this is one way for you to learn how to charge yourself up for the day, rejuvenating yourself with that effervescent type of spark and vibration and that high voltage type of energy from the inside out. And that's going to give you that magnetic wow factor when you're interacting with other people, really giving you that feeling of exuberance and playfulness and security and safety from the inside out. So imagine three different type of women. So the first woman, she is very depleted and very energetically barren on the inside. Maybe her body language is a little bit hunched over. She's like a withered flower. She's got her nose looking down. Her eyes are looking down. She's avoiding eye contact. Imagine a second woman, the kind of woman who is very reactive, very on edge, always hypervigilant, always in survival mode and reactive and ready to fight with everybody, very controlling, very manipulative. She doesn't know how to relax. She doesn't know how to trust people. She's always causing fights and arguments everywhere she goes. It seems like her only way of getting attention and feeling significant and valid, you know, validated is if she's causing problems and stress to people, especially her man. Now imagine a third woman, the kind of woman who is very soft in her energy and in the way that she carries herself. She's very flowy. She's very feminine. She's very playful and light and alert. She's deeply connected to her body and her senses. She's receptive to the world around her. And as you observe all three of these women, as you imagine them, what kind of energy do you feel from all of them and who are you more drawn to? So as you see, either we are very lifeless and vacant on the inside and meek, you know, very, very small in our demeanor. Either you are very reactive and aggressive to the point where you push everyone away because you're always causing problems everywhere you go. Or you are the kind of woman who is secure within herself and she's nourished and filled up. So the first woman in my examples has the energy of a computer. She's very, she might be very robotic, very shy, very small in her body language, not really present. The second woman is in survival mode. She's really controlling. She's really unnecessarily aggressive, always trying to prove something and prove herself to look powerful. Whereas the third woman is like a glass of champagne. You know, she's bubbly and sparkling and tingly and lively. You know, if you imagine sipping on champagne, champagne is very exciting to drink. You know, it makes your taste buds tingle. It makes you feel alive, you know, when you're drinking it. So vivacious delight is the same thing. You know, it's, a, it's, the, it's all about you plugging into that power source of aliveness, knowing how to rejuvenate the spark inside of you. And that's going to be your key to generating that magnetism and that inner glow that's going to make you really fascinating as a divine feminine woman.